I'm Glyn MacDonald, and I'm Head of Movement at Shakespeare's Globe in the South Bank in London. The Head of Movement is employed because the actors only have one instrument, and that's their body. So if their body is not working properly, then they're not able to do their job. So I'm here really, like a piano tuner. I'm tuning the instrument so that it's ready to play. So it's a very physical job. I've got them jumping around, galloping, archetypes, elements, really finding out how to speak the text. Shakespeare wrote in a verse form called Iambic Pentameter. Pretty easy when you hear it. It's the same as the gallop. If you can get your actors galloping, the heartbeat is good, the legs are moving, they're coming into the rhythm of the verse. When I was at school, I wanted to do nothing. I grew up in Australia, and all I wanted to do was lie on the beach or surf. I've never had any ambition, and I've never planned my career. Who would have thought that a kid from the bush would end up on the South Bank teaching movement? No, I had no plans whatsoever. And these things have simply opened up to me. I've done degrees in English literature and psychology, and then I trained as an Alexander teacher, which I've been doing for the last 38 years. The Alexander Technique is a technique of psychophysical awareness. So in other words, the way that your head-neck-back relationship works affects your efficiency as a person. So all theatre companies and all drama schools have Alexander teachers to help their actors find a balance in their bodies. I came to London in 1968 and decided that I'd like to be involved in some way in a creative life. I started to work in drama schools. I worked at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Art, the Guildhall School, and the Central School of Speech and Drama. And I did that for about 27 years. When Mark Rylands took over the Globe, he brought me with him, because of course, having an in-house Alexander teacher, as well as someone who studied Shakespeare and movement, you get three for one. So that was 11 years ago, and I've been here ever since. I was taught by a man called Walter Carrington. He died a couple of years ago, aged 92, and he was really my mentor because he really exemplified a way of life of how to get through the stressful business of living without becoming stressed yourself. Stress never stops, but your response to it can. I am inspired when I think about Shakespeare because here was a man who had an infinite knowledge of humanity. So what we are doing in the theatre is not something lightweight. We have 1,500 people come in, in one state, and go out in another. That, in my book, is healing. You only have to see a group of adolescent boys with Macbeth, is this a dagger that I see before me, to see the relevance of what Shakespeare was saying. It's not old fashions, it's fresh as new paint. If you're deciding in a career as a movement teacher or as an Alexander teacher, don't think you're going to get rich. But then you have to ask yourself, what is rich? Do I want the money? Or do I want to be able to wake up every morning looking forward to where I'm going? If, in Shakespeare's term, the play is the thing. If you keep playing, then you will love your work and your work will inspire you. But if you don't have that joy in what you're doing, change jobs. So the lesson I have learned is to thine own self be true. And that again is Shakespeare, wouldn't you know?